going on guys? Here we are at Brandon Theaters watching Star Trek Into Darkness. Let's just jump into it. I'm not a big Star Trek fan. Uh, the only thing of Star Trek I know is the classic drop to the knee and yell con as we do our planet-wide shot. I enjoyed it. I liked it. I felt like they breathed new life into it. So with this one, when they made the announcement of Star Trek 2, I'm like, con. Mike's like, no, no con. I was like, it's con. Sure enough, con. There are a lot of similarities from the original Wrath of Khan, you know, when they say, oh, he's a Superman, and then the whole, they even do Khan, which that's what I was hoping for for the entire thing when they did. I cheered like a little girl, loved it. And they had Klingons. In a nutshell, great movie, loved it. I'm gonna give it a solid nine out of 10. It was better than Iron Man 3, but that is not the actor's fault. That was Marvel Studios for approving such a horrible thing. So yes, go see Star Trek in the Darkness. It is a great movie. Do you like Star Trek or Star Wars? Star Wars. So then why did you want to see this Star Trek movie? Love J.J. Abrams. Love him. Lost everything. <laughs> Just amazing. He's awesome. So but... you watched you watch Star Trek 1? Yes, I did. Loved it. Okay, and what about this one? Love it more. You see, so it's better it's than like, the first one? If they're going to make this a trilogy, then the first one will be like Cold Stone, like, like it, this will be love it, and then the last one's going to be like, gotta have it. Do you have any complaints with Star Trek in the Darkness? No, I really don't. Do you think the title lived up to the movie? No. Do you think it had everything you'd want in a movie? Yes, it did. It had laughter, it had touching moments, it had action. It was this year's Avengers for me. So on a scale of one to ten... This is you? a nine. A nine. nine, nine and a half. It's nine amazing. Nine. I was better than Iron Man. Uh, that's saying a lot. Iron Man 3. Nothing against Robert Downey, just... Robert Downey was the best part of that movie. <laughs> Loved Robert Downey. Do you like Star Trek? Very much, I do. So are you a Star Trek or a Star Wars? I'm most, I'm basically a, a Star Trek fan. You're Star Trek, you're a Trekkie. Long time Star Trek fan. We don't like Trekkies. You watched Star Trek 1, the reboot? Yes, I did. Reconstitution, did you like it? I did, yeah. Was it good? Yeah, it was good. So what about this one? I, I, I think this is a, a worthy sequel to uh, to, to the um, movie back in 2009. Did you know that it was going to be Khan? I, I kind of already had a feeling it was going to be Khan. See, because when they announced they were doing a sequel, I say Khan and Mike. Well, even, even before the preview, and Mike's like, all, I Mike's all, all no, Khan. no, Khan's like, dude, it's going to be Khan. He goes, no, like, it's going to be Khan, bro. Just watch, it's going to be Khan. Do you have any complaints with this movie? I, no, I do not have complaints. Would you say this movie had everything you'd want? When, you know, like Pretty it's much, got yeah. laughter, action, comedy, <laughs> the, the, the violence. Comedy. I, I think the actor who played him, um, uh, played Khan, you know, Leo Benedict. Cumberbatch. Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. I think he was. I think he was worth. He was worthy of being Khan. He definitely sounded like he, Khan he, even he from back in the day. He definitely felt like a villain. Went from Sherlock Holmes to this. So on a scale of one to ten, what do you, what do you want to give this? A solid straight ten. Straight ten. Way to go, from Donny Gee. We haven't seen you on camera in a while. My eyes have been rashy. I didn't want you guys thinking I was on crack. The truth is, he's allergic to cats. He likes to go to Eric Wan's house and pick up his cat and go, Ah, kitty! And then, and, then, and then Eric is all, Dude, that's the most pussy you get ever. Pussy you get <laughs> Not funny, though. So, Mike, how's it feel to be wrong about Khan? Just... I'm glad I'm wrong. <laughs> but to be honest, though, I deep in the back of my mind, I had a hope that it might be Khan. Like, I would have been disappointed if I ended up being right, honestly. I would have been happy I would have been right because I get to say I told you so, but I would have been disappointed. Those but are rare moments. Never, I, I say I told you so all the time, but he rarely acknowledges it. I acknowledge it when I'm I wrong. I could acknowledge when I'm wrong. And no, I you could, but you don't. I wasn't wrong about this. No, not this, but you were wrong about other things before. Don't ask me to give examples, because then that's just going to fly back in my face, but you know I'm right about you being wrong and not being able to acknowledge it sometimes. Oh, one second. Hey, can I call you right back? Bye. Is that your mom? Yeah. Is she mad at me about last night? No, no, no. no. Oh, great. She awesome. actually laughed a lot. I know, I have that effect on people. Like yeah, because you have so you've got Khan. Got Khan. And you've got everyone in Star Trek. I love how they pay homage to the Wrath of Khan in many, many ways. If any of you, any of you have seen the Wrath of Khan from 1982, Star Trek II, Yo. Nicholas Meyer, Donaghy has, they pay a lot of homage to it. And it's great while it's still being its own movie. And it's a standalone film in a sense. It's kind of like what I said. Yeah, what, shut this up. Is standalone? It's considered a standalone film, in a sense. I don't see how you could. They make all references that were in the first one. Yeah, but you don't have to see the first movie to but totally you, appreciate the movie itself. But if you actually, if you see those events in the first one, you can fully appreciate. Yeah, you can appreciate it, but you can still understand the movie itself and the plot without having to see anything else. I mean, they even brought Leonard Nimoy makes a cameo and makes it. An, it's an important scene too, and I, and I liked it, even though it was really really brief. And don't say that's what she said. So, what she said. the action, the humor, all a great combination. This movie had a, a, the elements of every, had every element of a sci-fi movie you could want. 
uh, like you said, action, humor, violence. So do you think they stole a lot from the Avengers? No. Like the Avengers. You, okay, no. I, I know what you're talking about, but they, it's, I, I'm not, I'm not. I'm Even not, when they brought Khan onto the Enterprise, they did like the same way in the Avengers. Man, no, Man of Steel. Remember the way they, well, yeah, but Man of Steel also. Okay, they, Avengers they, came out first, and you have the shield guys in front and back and on the sides. Man, it's still not even out yet. What are you talking about? Cool. It's a great movie all around. A step up from number one. I won't say it's necessarily better than the first one, but it's equally as good. Arguably better, arguably equal to the first one. You think it was better than Iron Man 3? Yes, because I'm more of a Star Trek fan. I didn't know s*** about Iron Man. On a scale of five stars, I will give this four and a half. All right, that's my review. So going ahead, guys. Shoot us some comments below. In fact, we haven't done this in a very, very long time. So let's just see if people are paying attention. Go on ahead and tell me down here what you think is the best remake ever made. Go on ahead, let me know. Just throw it down there. And all the answers we get, we will read your YouTube name and say, hey, so-and-so said this. Do that, comment, let us know, subscribe, like it, share it, favorite it. Next week, we're gonna come at you fast with six. I don't know where I was going with that, but we're gonna do Fast Six, because that's like the first of many of their Fast 10 series. See you next time.